Okay, and once all numbers reach zero, we're going to want to bring up the Halo command prompt again. So we'll go Control tilde and type in radiosity underscore save. And this will save our radiosity settings. You hit enter. And now you can see our ground level that we have created here. To control the uh, game window, you would click and uh, hold the middle mouse button. W moves you forward, S moves you backwards, A is a straight left, D is a straight right. To uh, fly down or fly up, you would, uh, while continuing to hold the middle mouse button, you would hit the R button to fly up and the F button to fly down. To speed up the camera, you would hit the shift key. And you can see we have the level created here. And now we do want to populate this level. And we'll want to select the uh, player starting points. So we'll go under hierarchy view, open up missions, and select player starting points. And we want to put a new starting point, and we do this by simply going into the game window and placing a starting point there. You can grab a hold of the teal cursor and move the starting point around to be facing the direction you want. If you uh, don't want the starting point to be here, you want to move it, you would select the gray box that makes up the starting point and you can move that around as well. Okay, and our team index for this is zero, and we need to create another one here. We'll rotate him, and for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll only create four starting points, two for the red and two for the blue, since this is a smaller level. And we'll place the starting point there, and we'll give him a team index of one. Place the starting point there and you'll notice it did default as one because that's the last one we placed. Now we want these to be effective for all games so with one of the starting points selected we go down to type zero in our properties palette and select all games and do that for each starting point you selected. Okay, now we want to lay down some vehicles for this level. So under the hierarchy view window, we'll go from missions to objects to units and vehicles. You'll notice under the uh, window to the right of hierarchy view uh, for the name, there's nothing there. We actually need to add some vehicles. So with the vehicles folder selected, we will click on edit types. It'll bring up a new dialog box. We want to make sure that the ob object class is under vehicle and we want to add a vehicle so we'll select add and you're going to want to navigate to your tags root directory and go to vehicles and from here you can select one of the vehicles in this case we want to add a ghost and we want to add a warthog so we'll select both of those, we'll click done they will show up in our dialog box, we'll click OK and we'll want to lay these down We'll put one right there. You'll notice that nothing was assigned to it, so we want to assign a ghost to this one. We'll rotate it so it's facing the right direction. And we want it to be the default vehicle for Slayer, Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, and Oddball. And we want it allowed for each one of those games as well. And we'll keep this team index of zero. We'll lay down a second one here. Rotate it the direction we want facing and we'll actually change it to a warthog under the properties palette. <coughs> and now we want to select the same for the other team. So we'll place a warthog there, give it a team index of 